Carl Rowland with Shoreline Products. In this video, we're going to walk through setting up and running an entire part. Uh, we're going to go over getting your home position using an edge finder, uh, how to set the home positions in your, uh, in your controller, also how to set up your tool offsets, and then we're going to step through the part uh, one process at a time. So we're ready to get going here. We're going to step through the program for doing the Sureline cup holder. So I've already homed out the table. I've got my quarter inch spot drill in. Uh, so we're going to go over to load programs. And this one does everything. It's a complete program. So you have a facing operation. You have the circle pocket being cut out. You have the profile being done, and then you have the engraving being done inside the circular pocket. So right now that guy's loaded. I'm going to go over to Program, MDI. I'm going to hit Rewind. And the first thing it's going to do is spot drill a hole in the center. My end mills are not center cutting end mills. Okay. I've edited the program so it moves in the X, Y first, and then comes down in the Z. Okay, now let's move to my tool change position. On the tool change position, uh, we put our X and Y at minus two and minus two, and that's from the machine zero point. You can change it to wherever you want to. You can also, if, if you know all your tools are gonna be about this long, there's no sense of going all the way back to home each time. You can have your Z at minus two or minus three, uh, whatever works for you for the program that you're, you're doing at the time. Next one's going to be our 3 ace end mill, and it's just going to do a facing operation. Okay, it's asking me to change the tool. Now all I have to do is hit the cycle start. Doing a cleanup pass. 
Okay, that was the end of the finish pass. Okay. Right now it's getting ready to do the rough and finish circle. And this is a little more serious cut. Okay, the RPMs are down to 2,000 from 2,800. I just hit feed hold. I'm just going to hit cycle start. Now it's doing climb milling. And taking a pretty nice cut. Okay. As you can see right now we're getting a lot of chip buildup. The chips that remain on top of the part end up being caught in, up in the mill and milled back into the surface. So what I can do is at any time I can either, I can hit the feed hold and it'll stop right there. Okay, I can go into jog mode and I'm going to go continuous. I'm going to bring my z-axis up a little bit. I'm going to turn on my shop vac. Back to program mode. I can hit cycle start. <clears throat> cycle start again. And I'm right back where I was. program, cycle start. Millen.
three eighths is done, got a nice finish. Quarter inch is going to come in, it's going to profile the whole outside of it. So right now I just have to click cycle start again. I want to right now the spindle speed is at 100 percent if I press the S12 and the plus button I'm at 133 percent now and the RPMs just went up to 20, 2800 2600 uh, right now it's taken about two-thirds of a cutter width on the groove when it comes across, it'll be a full width. So when it comes across, because of the increased RPM, we'll start to get some chatter. Okay, if I have chatter, then what I can do is start dropping my RPMs. And right now I'm at 105%. So it cuts a little heavier, but there's no chatter. Okay, this is the fourth or fifth pass. Right now the quarter inch end mill, the depth of the slot is about 375. Okay, so you can see where it's getting packed full of chips pretty bad. I'm just going to hit feed hold, so it'll stop there. Just go back to jog again. I'm going to jog it up out of the part. I'm going to vacuum it out. Back to program, cycle start. Okay, unfortunately, it feeds back down at the same feed rate it was programmed at. So, if you move it up really high to get it out of your way, it's going to take a while for it to get back down to its cutting level. As soon as it gets there, and it takes off again. Right there, you just heard the RPMs come up a little bit. All it's going to do is a finish profile pass around the outside to give me a nice clean finish. Last tool is the engraving bit. We 
we've got our engraving bit in. For this last tool, I'm going to put it in single, uh, single block so we can actually step it through so you can see how that works. So I just clicked on the single block and I just start clicking on cycle start. That all looks good. So at this point, I'm going to take it off single block and just hit cycle start. Again, if I want to stop this at any point, I can just hit feed hold. I can go to my jog page, continuous, jog it up out of the way, move it out so I can actually see it or measure it. Check out the quality of my engraving, which is looking good. everything is looking good and measures good, then I just go back to my program page and I hit cycle start again. It goes back in the Y axis and X axis first, then down in the Z and continues on with my program. Hit it again.